all right everybody welcome to your 13th android application tutorial and in this tutorial i'm gonna build another layout but this time i'm gonna show you why android relative layout would be a good choice for the sort of layout instead of linear layout so let's say that uh, i want to build an application which is kind of this is your mobile phone then this is your username field then this is your username text place where you would enter your username then this is password then the field for password then this is your sign up button then you have like some more registration area or something like that so you know you get the idea so let's see how to build that with a linear layout first so I'm just gonna get rid of this all of that real quick and I'm gonna say that a linear layout linear or actually this is linear layout this is wrap content let's just wrap content for now and actually I'm just gonna match parent for this one and I'm gonna say that inside this I have a text view with wrap content wrap content for now and uh, I'm gonna say that this has a text of email all right now I want to have an edit text and uh, pretty much that's all for this and I'm gonna say this is Android layout weight is one an Android layout weight is one and actually what happens is that when you don't specify a weight sum then it would just take all of these you know views and then it would like if you have like 10 views then it would take the weight sum to be 10 and then accordingly distribute that stuff so if you explicitly specify that well that's good if you don't then it's kind of fine as well so you could just add a little bit of margin margin left so you could say that this is like 20 dps and layout margin left as it says that it just add a margin to your layout then android layout margin right margin right is 20 dps as well so you would just specify gravity as well for this one center here we go now you could just copy out this layout and paste it again here and say that this would be your and I guess I should probably keep this on the left only because that kind of looks awkward if I just you know keep it central and this would be then password and uh, yeah pretty much it then what I want next is a button so let me just add a linear layout again and say that this is button match parent wrap content and this would say that sign me in so I want this thing to span the whole screen let's just assume well obviously in a real application you just don't want the login form to span the whole screen unless your login form is kind of big and uh, catchy so what i can say this is specified a weight sum of 100 so i can say that this is android layout weight is 33 then this one is 33 as well and this one is 33 as well you know it's kind of 99 it's not 100 percent but still it works so you could just specify the gravity as well gravity center and uh, gravity center then gravity center so kind of awkward but it's okay so now what happens is that if you hover over this you would see something like this nested weights are bad for performance and if you click on more it would say that layout weights require a widget to be measured 
twice when a layout width with non-zero width is nested inside another linear layout with non-zero weights then the number of measures measurements increases exponentially now exponentially is kind of a big thing to worry about because uh, exponents are kind of they increase real quick from you know it would take just a few nested layouts to crash your application if you make use of layout weights a lot of times so this sort of layout is possible with relative layout as well and uh, kind of with ease actually because uh, relative layout would not need allow us actually with the help of relative layout you would not need to have actually a nested layout at all so that kind of not only saves you a layout weight but a layout a nested layout itself so that kind of would be helpful so let's just see how that would look like so again I'm gonna change this linear layout to relative layout and it automatically does that for me right here and again I'm gonna say that uh, let me see okay so I'm gonna say that this is text view Android width is wrap content wrap content for now and I'm gonna say that this has an Android text of email and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna specify an ID to it now what an ID is an ID actually is kind of an identifier for your view so in relative layout you can make use of ID to specify which view would go on the left right top or bottom of which of what another view so you're gonna see that in a minute real quick so let me just say that this is my email email label right then I'm gonna say that uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the email one then I want an edit text so it says me wrap content wrap content and uh, I'm gonna say this is Android layout to write off now pay close attention here now what's happening here is that actually I am creating a layout which I can say to that place this edit text to the right of which ID well if I say that this is email label then what happens is that this if you see closely then this and this are placed on left and right of each other well there's a sort of height height difference because this is kind of just a label but this is an input field so we'll worry about that later on well now what I'm gonna say that this is Android layout align parent right and set this to true now you can see that it spans the full width because I have said that this is align to parent right so it says me that consider replacing Android layout align parents right parent end to true for better right to left. okay so you can do that but I'm not right now concerned for RTL or LTR support so for the text you can just give it an Android text size of let's just say 20 SP or maybe like 22 SP or something and I can say that this is Android layout margin top is equal to let's just say 5 dps or 10 dps or whatever you want to have now you can see that uh, we have placed these side by side without an actually making use of any other layout so you know you could pretty much do something like this to all of these things now there would be a little bit of duplicates so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that this one has an ID of password label and I want to say that this one is to the right of password label 
but where is password label well we haven't specified its position so let's just say that Android below and then ID of email label so now it's here and uh, let's just change this to password and it is still right here but what I want is that it is Android layout below and it is below to the I guess I haven't specified an ID for this one let's just say this is uh, email field so this is below email field right so now you can see that it pretty much looks cool and the final thing you have to do is just create a button out of it so this is again uh, wrap content let's just say that and I'm gonna say this is Android text as uh, let's just say sign main and I can see that it has a distorted position because we haven't specified its position yet so I'm gonna say this is an ID of uh, password field right and finally I'm gonna say that this is Android layout below password field and uh, pretty much you can then span it on the whole screen you could say that this is match parent and you got the pretty much the same layout but I haven't created that height difference so now you can see that it's pretty much same as the other layout we just have a little bit of width difference which we can fix easily but the main purpose of this tutorial was to make you see that how relative layouts can be used instead of linear layouts well both of them have their own you know advantages and disadvantages it's not that relative layout is supreme relative layout is kind of sucks it kind of sucks really bad in some situations and linear layout kind of sucks as well really bad in some situations well it really depends from situation to situation what kind of layout you want to have so for such an application I would prefer a relative layout instead of linear because it is fast and uh, it kind of avoids your nested layouts as well plus the layout weight as well so I guess that is all for this tutorial and uh, oh my app was running actually so anyways so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one